Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today we're going to talk about an air gap solution for uh, routing traffic through an IPS. And so we have a, well, let's uh, start with a cloud. And we have a client machine out here. And then we'll come into our big IP. And then off the big IP, let's separate this into uh, route domain one and route domain two. And so we have an external VIP here, an external VIP, and then we will hit that external VIP, and then we have a internal VIP on the route domain two. So the pool for that external VIP sits, um, so let me draw this, the pool is actually that internal VIP. And the way that we're going to route that is we have our IPS servers over here, and they have a default gateway to the big IP. And then on this side of the equation, we have the app servers. And they also have a default gateway to the big IP. Default gateway to the big IP. All right, so from a traffic perspective, we can come in encrypted from the client to this external VIP and then we will send that traffic over. Internal VIP is the pool member of that, um, and we're gonna route that over uh, to the IPS via a gateway pool. Um, and so the IPS, and it's essentially we're, we're treating the IPS as like routers. And so uh, IPS one, IPS2 or in this gateway pool. Um, and so they're being sent over to the IPSs and then the IPSs have default gateway for here. Source IP, still the client. Destination IP, still this internal VIP. And so in the clear, we're coming back to that internal VIP. And then at this point, um, we're still not doing any source address translation. So we're gonna send the traffic back to the app and this can be your choice uh, in the clear, or you, know, you can re-encrypt and send it back that way. Uh, so whichever way you wanna do is fine. And then on the way back, because we have a default gateway back to the big IP, that'll come, traffic will come back here. And because of auto last hop, auto last hop will send that back over to the IPSs. And then because the IPS has a default route for the big IP sends that traffic back and then the big IP will send that back encrypted back to the client. So that is a way, uh, one way, and again, route domain, the external VIP is in route domain one uh, and then the internal VIP is in route domain two and that makes everything happy with the big IP. So in this first solution, everything is compressed onto a single uh, big IP or a single pair of big IPs. Um, but you can also expand it out. Maybe you have uh, different uh, vertical um, security zones that require the, the air gap to be uh, a front side and a back side. And so uh, flow is pretty similar, but if we have a cloud and a client come in and uh, first we have our big IP, and then from there we have our IPS, and then from there we have another big IP, and then carrying on to the app servers. And so uh, traffic will come in. Uh, let, let me do some more setup here real quick. So the big IPs uh, will have uh, the, we'll put the external 
VIP here and the internal VIP there. And so in the external VIP, uh, the pool member is this guy, but there's also a, uh, a default, I'm sorry, a, uh, a gateway pool. Um, and in that gateway pool is IPS1 and IPS2. And so the big IP, when that traffic can come in, uh, will route this over. The IPSs need a route, doesn't have to be a default route, but needs a route um, unless it's on local, um, uh, local network to this um, other big IP uh, will need some way to get uh, the destination of this internal VIP over to this big IP. Uh, so we need a route here. Um, and so this, these IPSs are, are packet forwarders. They're, they're acting as a router. And then of course the, the, um, we'll have a default gateway of the big IP. And so as traffic comes through here again, we have a uh, client hits this external VIP. External VIP has this pool member as the internal, but it's gonna use this gateway pool uh, to forward these to the IPS. And so we're going to send that in the clear. It's going to route those packets over to this big IP, uh, maintaining the client source address throughout. Uh, so source address translation is disabled uh, both here and here. And then big IP can, again, re-encrypt to the app server or keep it in the clear. And then by default gateway, it will forward that back to the big IP. Big IP uh, has auto last hop to be able to return that traffic. Uh, again, IPS just acts as a forwarder. And then big IP will re-encrypt that and send it on. So um, in this scenario, you don't need the route domains uh, because of the separation uh, that you have between uh, the security zones and the, the big IPs are, are isolated. Uh, in this case, you, you do need the route domain so that the, the routing works. But um, hopefully you learned a little bit about how to set up some air gap solutions and I'll have some resources uh, linked in the video below.